All right, uh, here doing the test video now with the Steel Series Siberia. This is the Dota 2 edition, and I'm playing, um, as you can see, I'm playing State of Decay for PC. And as in the other videos, I'm comparing this microphone to the um, Plantronics GameCon 780, the Blue Yeti microphone, uh, which is a USB condenser microphone, uh, and the Audio Technica 2100 which is a handheld microphone uh, that is a dynamic microphone with XLR outputs and also USB. And you guys be the judge. Please let me know uh, which sound is the best of all four. And uh, if it's even worth it to buy separate microphones. You know, the nice thing about headset is the mics are right on it. You can talk right into it. You don't have to worry about getting close to the microphone as you do in the 2100. The Yeti has a better gain, so you can pick up from a lot further but it also picks up a lot of extraneous noise so the downside of a headset to me is the sound sounds a little bit almost artificial but again you guys be the judge of that and tell me which one you think sounds the best thanks for watching all right here we go uh, alt f7 turns off the camera let's try this out Hey, what happened there? Oh, I got the breakdown. Oh, cool. I got both sets. Nice. <clears throat> A little bit further away here. And uh, just testing this out. See what it plays like. And, uh, yeah. Move it around. Recording with shadow play. It is nighttime and testing comparing to the other two videos I did and that's it I can get real close for a deeper sound or just be comfortable but further away see what this sounds like right about here is what I'm comfortable with and testing the sound now and that's it Alt F9 okay testing the uh, Audio Technica 2100 dynamic microphone it has XLR output also it's very functional you can use it with a camcorder and things like that comparing it to the Blue Yeti uh, Blue Yeti has a stronger output uh, as far as the gain this there's no gain the control part. in this microphone there's all and on and off can't it and out that's yourself, it I'm gonna turn it off see if you hear it armed, armored, and, equipped, yeah, and that's on and out now and this guy's interrupting me. So don't go thinking you can force us to take you away from All right, just be quiet. Because we will shoot you. Thoroughly. That is so, uh, anyway, I'm uh, playing, and now I'm getting up close. This is what this... The mic's actually designed to be a handheld microphone that you hold close to your mouth, I think. And uh, the good thing is, compared to the Yeti, it won't pick up extraneous noises like the Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti will pick up everything, my fans and everything like that. So um, I have other videos showing you the Blue Yeti and comparing it also to my headset mics, and you can listen to those. And this is me talking about half an inch away from the microphone, about an inch now, two inches, three inches, four inches, six inches. Now I'm pretty far away comparing it to the Blue Yeti. And this is up close again, so you can hear the difference. Um, I also bought a pop filter for it. I don't know if it makes a big difference on this microphone. Bye. Okay, doing another recording now. This time I'm testing the GameCon 780, comparing it to the um, Audio Technica 2100, the Blue Yeti, which you'll also hear in this video, and the um, what's the other one, the um, Steel Series Siberia headset. Dota 2 Series Edition. So this is the microphone with uh, you're hearing the mic with the. Uh, GameCon 780, um, pretty good headset. I like it. I, I think it has a very clean sound. It's not as the levels aren't as high as the Steel Series. Steel Series tends to be a little a little bit more brassy sounding to me. Uh, you could be the judge of that. And uh, of course, the Yeti and the uh, Audio Technica 2100, those are USB microphones, uh, so they're going to have a cleaner sound. The Yeti being a condenser microphone, the 2100 is a dynamic microphone, and it also has XLR. It's very versatile. The levels out come out quite low on that, though, so you have to be up close to it. Uh, being a handheld mic, I would have think that would be the case. 
uh, but if you create a boom stand uh, for it, you can uh, it, you can get good sound out of it because it's just picking up right 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 in front of you, whereas the Yeti picks up a lot of room noise. And so this is the GameCon 780, and test. Thanks.